Sup, 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 my name is Ryu for the Pokemon Council. Welcome to the brand new Poke Time. Grab your coffee or your beverage. I am joined by... Pokegraph. I was hoping you say peanut butter this week. Aw. This is my obsession lately. Yes. So, we're going to be talking about the Sun and Moon rumors, going in-depth about them, and uh, if they were true, what we think about it. I think that's the best way to do it. <laughs> so, in front of us, we have the uh, supposed leak images... For the final starter evolutions. Let's just kick that off. Alright. So I'm going to make the argument that Neuvern originally had something very, very similar that said confidential on it. Yeah. Was People gonna... called hey. it fake. People absolutely called it fake. And look what happened. It turned out to be real. So I'm not saying that these are absolutely real. And I'd be a little bit disappointed if they were. But let's talk about it. So, Rowlet's final <clears throat> evolution, what do you think, if that is to be? Uh, if, if it is actually real, and I never get a uh, Rowlet, I'm going to name him Legolas. <laughs> You're going to name him what? Legolas. Oh, God. Like in Lord of the Rings, yo, bitch. You know That's that, Robin Hood. Yeah, I, I would I would probably go with the green arrow, because, you know, he's got the, he's got the whole bow and arrow thing going on. I mean, if it's real, it's... Uh, it's an archer, a wrestler, and a siren, which I don't know yeah. how those three fit in together. It's kind of like the siren got a little off place there, but it's all good. But um, I like his, like, headpiece that he could pretty much, like... Because I, I really do think these are real. There's too much, like, detail into this shit. Yeah, I think they could be real. There's or at least really... Clo at least close to it. Yeah, you know? like an early design of it. I really think yeah. there's too much detail... Because, like, looking at Rowlet's, uh, Rowlet's imagery here, the headpiece, like, it shows the headpiece and how it works and how it's, like, eyes pop out and go in. And its yeah. head is almost like a swallow. But it's got the bush over it. So, basically, it would be, like, a bush owl, which makes a lot of sense. But oh, yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't be able to stop the green arrow jokes. There would be green arrow jokes constantly. Oh, yeah. That's I can I'd be like, hey, is the shiny version Black Canary? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually interested in how this shiny, how this shiny will look. Right? I really am. Um, let's talk about what you absolutely probably hate, Linen's evolution, possible. Well, the wrestler. The, Which, well, I will make the argument, could be fire dark or fire poison. I'll go into why after you tell no, me what you think. No, I think the speculation is going to be fire dark due to the fact that it still has that, you know, dark look to it. Like, we're like the... Like, how wrestling has are good and bad guys sort of like... It has bad baby wrestler. face and it has the heels. The heels are the bad guys, baby faces are your John Cena's. Yeah, but it's pretty much like he has sort of like that evil wrestler look to him. So I feel like he could be a fire dark type, but for the love of God, don't make him firefighting. No one fucking wants that. After he finally stopped that in 6th gen. I'll, I'll be honest, I think he looks dope as fuck. He does. <laughs> really does. Uh, the one like thing the fact, that's... I like the fact the, on the artwork, he's shooting fire from the belt, which is basically around his crotch. Yeah, but people were saying, oh, that's his dick. No, that's his WWE fire belt, yo. That's his fucking belt. He's a fucking wrestler. He's got to have that champion belt. But the one thing that kind of screams that this isn't fake is that Ash and Pikachu are both in it with a new character, a new girl lead. So if we do get a trailer for, like, the Sun and Moon anime, yeah, and we yeah, see her, yeah. then we know it's legit before we find out about this. Yeah. Because it's it's just like, let's be honest, if it's fake, why are you going to not only stamp confidential on it, which is typically seems to be used for the anime, because Neuvern's in the anime right now. Yeah. Because, you know, they have to get, like, some kind of concept how these characters would look in animation, because yeah. they, they're on a tight schedule. And... Why would you put Pop Leo there, Pikachu, and, like, some random Pokemon I can't really make out on top of, you know, Lin's final evolution? It just, you it, got, it, no, it it's screams... Pop Leo, and it, they got a freaking pot, like a freaking little tea kettle. And yeah, yeah, and stuff. it's, like, it, it's warming up, it, like, it's warming up because the belt is made of fire. Yeah, I just There's, like, really so good. much detail there. <coughs> And it's just like, it, it seems like so easy to pass as fake, but it seems so legit to be real. And the thing is, these drawings, like, they look like, you know, 
the way they'd be drawn in the anime. Yeah, not the art style you're going to see in the game, because obviously it's going to be different. Or the official artwork that you'll see, like, in a strategy guide, or what they show off, like, in yeah. like, their Pokemon trailers. But this looks exactly like early sketches for the Pokemon anime, and I know people don't care about the Pokemon anime as much, only but, little kids do, yeah. but it is important to take a note from it, because it could be leading the way to legitimacy. Exactly. So the one thing I really do want to mention, especially that screams that this is could be possible real, is the fact that fucking Lin's final evolution is holding a Machamp in a giant submission pose. Yeah. It looks like a backbreaker. And then one where he's doing, uh, for those WWE fans, he's doing a Cesaro swing where he's swinging around the ring. I just find it hilarious. There's so much detail that I don't think that these are fake anymore. I really do believe uh, they're real. And if they are fake, uh... Applauding to the person who made these because you are a brilliant artist. Exactly. <laughs> like, the, I'll have to give him applause if these somehow are fake. That this guy's a brilliant artist and damn. Alright, let's talk about the one basically thing that most people would scream that it's fake because of. Pop, Pop Leo's Leo, final. If he's actually based on sirens, that creeps me out so fucking much. Yeah. As of what a siren is. Um, in short, even if it looks girly, it could be to lure people in, and that's why. It could be very they malicious. They use their voices to lure male sailors and basically, in a sense, seduce them and then kill them. It's but the, very, the very biggest disturbing. rumor, the biggest rumor about Pop Leo's final would be Water Fairy, and based on the colors, that really screams Water Fairy. Water Fairy, and also the fact that E3, Pop Leo had baby doll eyes. No, no, yeah. no, he had a disarming voice, my bad. Yeah. He had a disarming voice, which is the very move that really no Pokemon that I, that I can think of has that that does not turn into a fairy type, or is already a fairy type. And there is, well, actually, there's Meowstic. I'm not sure they do. But I, I, I want to make one more point to the argument that they could be real. Rowlet's, like, description and the way Rowlet's signature attack is, where basically the animation shoots it out of its, like, little feathers, yeah. screams an archer. Lin's yeah. the only one that we really can't pinpoint because it's a wild card of the bunch. It really is. Uh, Pop Leo, though, it, it basically is screaming, hey, look at me. I got this fairy attack, and I'm ugly as fuck. I'm going to be beautiful and lure you. Yeah. As we were saying. <laughs> um, it just screams water fairy, honestly. Yeah, it does. It really does scream water fairy. And there's, like, so many sketches on here that like you know sketches of the pokemon's designs and different like ways they would move there's just so much going on it doesn't really look fake it really does look legit yeah, it does and especially i know this is an unpopular you know thing to say but especially if we get like some kind of uh synchro or burst form it adds up because the rest of the archer and the siren that would add up because they had the designs of you know a little more humanoid mm-hmm so it could be pulled off really, really easily. It's like, if these turn out to be, like, the final evolutions, you know, at, like, because I'm sure there's going to be some minor changes, you know, yeah. uh, upon the release, because these are probably, like, these are just concept right now. Um, I, I won't be disappointed. I will uh, really like all the uh, the final evolutions. You'll be the disappointed starters. if Lynn's final is a fucking giant firefighting Tony the Tiger beats. I'll be pissed off at his firefighting type. I'd be tired. Uh, I won't hate the design, you know, but the typing, yeah, I'd be fucking pissed off as hard as fighting type. In, in like, before, in before plot Plato's like final is war ice. I, That'd be fucking hilarious. I, I wouldn't be uh, disappointed by that either. But it should be water fairy. Um, it should be water fairy. Let's talk about the next thing that we need to talk about for Sun Moon: the possibility of no gyms. Fuck that shit. I don't want to believe it's real because. From what they were saying, there's supposed to be seven trials, which kind of screams gyms in a way. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, where are the gyms on the map? That's kind of one of the is, problems they haven't really having. zoomed in too much, except for one of the islands, which is the main island. Yeah. And there's a couple of places they could do the gyms, because they have been getting like, a little bit more creative with the gyms in terms of how they look. But like apparently, you make your own Elite Four, and... Yeah, the thing is with that, like... like it seems too out there. Even it, for the really Pokemon company, it really it's like, does. like I get like with this, they're trying to be a little more out there with some of the stuff like 
like they, they basically said the they want to surprise us but like the gems in the lane four you know has been like the staple of the pokemon series for since day one but this is why i have I think, to ask you what if we don't get gyms in aloha but we get them in like a go back to kalos and they're 10 times stronger and renewed i wouldn't mind that because i because regardless of the gyms now being, bring up why like, i talked about that regardless of how easy the gyms can be at times like you match a to win i still like batting the gyms because it's like that next hurdle you have to get over to get closer and closer to the elite four and exactly. to the champion <clears throat> the the one reason i said about kalos is there is one piece of the puzzle that we know is in the game that is connecting Kalos to this region, which is Zygarde. Mm -hmm. We didn't get Zygarde, you know, we didn't get like a middle game for X and Y, but Zygarde's in here with his 100% form, which for months people were saying we're only going to be in the anime. I called bullshit, and I was right. And I'll say it again, I think Ash Grand Ninja, but not under that name, is going to be in the game too. Just not under that name. Well, but if the Synchro Burst is actually real, then yeah. Yeah, I really do think it is because, let's be honest here, why are they going to make something ex so exclusive to the anime that people, well, well the kids are going to clamor for and be like, I want to do that in the game, I want to do that in the game. You want to get them hyped. So that's the perfect way to get it in. Now, that's the perfect way to the, lead to it. Big that thing, though, like, if this is actually, Synchro Burst is actually real, like, how is this going to affect competitive battling? Like, Well, it should probably still follow the rules of Mega Evolution. Either use Mega Evolution or use the Burst. Because from I'll, I'll explain what the anime said. Because I actually followed it. Haha. -ha. I can actually use it for once. Um, <laughs> they said that the power was similar. Like the energy levels. Because they read energy levels from it. Like, like Ash Grand Ninja and Mega Charizard. Yeah. They said that it was very, very similar. But a little bit different. And there was a legend... And it's been hinted about in the games uh, where you go for the 7th gym, that giant crystal that looks like part of Diancie. Yeah. It's been hinted at that that power uh, with a bond of a Pokemon basically made Mega Evolution and what Ash Grand Ninja is and AZ Floette. Because we've seen AZ Floette is another version of like the Ash Grand Ninja kind of thing. The black and red and uh, just the fusion between human and Pokemon. But not in that way that people are thinking from the manga. Hell no. <laughs> oh, fuck that shit. No, that's, that's the wrong, that's <laughs> the wrong thing. I people off, that was the case. No, no, it wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. They would probably go back, look at it, say, we fucked up here, let's make this great. Pretty much. I, I, don't, I don't think they're that, like, especially even after Pokemon Go, which I thought was going to be, like, the first stone into, you know, the death of Pokemon... I was so wrong. I was so wrong. Um, <clears throat> so I also want to elaborate on one other thing, and I don't know how you're gonna how we're gonna go about this. Mm. What do you think the other guardians are? Are because we do know there's a blue island, a green island, and a yellow island, and a red island. Mm. We know the yellow in island. Terms, ones. In terms of typing stuff. Yes. Grass fairy, water fairy, and fire fairy. Some people were saying that it was gonna be like ground fairy or some shit like that and I'm like no there's no way no because it's <clears throat> yellow island the yellow one the main island is an electric fairy type there's gonna be four of them and typically when there's a trio or a quattro of pokemon of electric pokemon they typically always share a same typing and then the usually the same secondary typing and then the main typing is always different so the rumor is right now, not counting Mega Evolutions, because there's rumors for Mega Evolutions, is that it would be 90 brand new Pokemon. I wouldn't be disappointed, as long as they're really all good. Let's let's look at what we have so far. They're pretty much all really fucking interesting. Yeah. We've never seen things like this before. Like, look at the Donald Trump looking Pokemon. Yes, it looks like Donald Trump. It does. I'm not gonna lie. Would you ever expect to see that in a Pokemon game? Like, no, I never. Or it, Bug it, Electric? It, like, this is revolutionary shit a right now. Bug Electric. Uh, radio. Uh, Gamashula. Oh yeah. There you go. My bad. My bad. But My a bad. fire poison type. Okay, Bug Fairy. Bug Fairy, fire poison, like. Better yet, a fire poison that can fucking 
poison other poison types and steel types. That's the most bullshit thing ever, I, bro. I'm like, god damn it, my poor skill my poor Steelix is gonna go cry in the corner now. Or like, I, are. like god damn it, when he when your radio was just just now trying to learn Pokemon Valley. Now There's like a whole new layer coming out. It's like a fucking eighteen layer cake. They're like, hey, here, have another fucking layer. It's like, oh lord. It's, it's okay, I'll be bad at Pokemon for a while, and I'll get really good when it comes to I Valley. Just, yeah, but for me personally, that's going to be really, it's gonna make the prediction game even more fun. It really will. It's it's going to make it so much more diverse. Oh, yeah. That's why I thank God for things like Smogan. Yeah, also, so, uh, real quick on the subject of that, okay, like, what other Pokemon, like, older Pokemon, you think should have some, like, their hidden abilities changed to have Corrosion as their ability? Mm. Muck. Arbark. Muck. Arbark. Arbark, Coughing. Muck. Yeah, uh, Weezing, were... Weezing, Weezing. Weezing should be hidden, yeah. Muck, yeah. I don't know, there's really not, like, too many poison types that really I would want to give it to. Uh, let me see real quick. He's got a he's got a Google search of shit. Oh, um, that's it. That's One thing I want to talk about though, what do you think of Drompa? I think that's how you say it. It's basically the uh, the dragon Pokemon of the region, right now. A normal dragon type, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Do you really think that's Dunsparce's evolution? Because that's the popular opinion right now. No. I didn't think I didn't think so either. Not done that way. Not to like shit on people's theories about it. Oh, Skunk Tank. Yes! God, yes! No, uh, better yet, give that thing a mega evolution, make that its ability, and then make it fire poison. Oh, lord. It knows flamethrower. Well, it can learn flamethrower. Oh, how about Drapion? Ooh, Drapion would be nice. Yeah, it would. Um, so what What do you really want out of Sun and Moon? The biggest like thing you could want out of Sun and Moon? Mm, let's see. Of course, I, I want Mega Flygon. If you yes. make a flying on. I'm going to make a my Yes. Uh, this is mainly for online play, but I want uh, Battle Spot 6v6, please. I'll take a Battle Frontier. Oh, Battle Frontier, yes. But I want, uh, but I really want Battle Spot like a 6v6 option because I'm not a fan of 3v3. I'm not. I don't blame you at all. Because I built my team for 6v6. I, I didn't do it for 3v3. So in closing, is there anything you want to say about Sun and Moon, about the rumors, about the giant uh, cat? The gem rumor can suck a dick. <laughs> the Elite Four rumor can suck a major fucking ass dick. Salt, uh, man. Salt on that wound. I just don't like the idea. I think it's one of the hard ideas ever. I don't blame like, you. if they go through with it, I'll be very disappointed. I really would. I wouldn't say I'd be disappointed. I, I'm kind of like touch and go because I feel like it would be what I always wanted as a kid is the Orange Islands, which should have just been implemented instead. But it's it's kind of one of those things I really don't know how to feel about it until I see it. I, I personally probably wouldn't like it all too much. Cause like, when, like... Po when Pokemon <laughs> Go got announced, I'm like, yeah, that's really stupid. I still pretty much feel that's really stupid, but it's still better than I thought it would ever be. Yep. So it's kind of one of those things I don't know because I've always been very accepting of the Pokemon company and what they do. One thing I really do want, though, is I want regular evolutions back. Mega evolutions are fun, but I want a yes. regular damn evolution. Yes. My poor Heracross will never get one. <laughs> we'll never get one. All right. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to tune back in next Monday for Poke Time. And we will see you then. Well, we'll see you in the next video anyway. Mm, yep. Peace.